Hi guys, my name is Maritza and today I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step approach how you can create a devotional for kids. Let's get started. Before we can go ahead and create the book cover and the interior pages to the devotional for kids, we first have to see what's on the market, see what people are searching for. Let me go ahead and type in devotional for kids. We can already see we have kids devotional books ages 8 to 12, kids Christian devotional, family devotional with kids. I love this one. Families. Let me click on that. Off the bat, I can see already this book cover we can recreate and actually make it better. And let's see. Let's see. I'm going to go further down. I love this one. Uh, the hands-on Bible 365 devotion for kids. This is actually pretty cool. Let me click on this one. And let me go ahead and click here where it says read sample. And let's see what's inside. Because we need to know exactly what we can create, get some inspiration. We have the Bible verse at the top, all things new. Okay. If you look for me wholeheartedly, you will find me. I love that. Here, apparently in these three paragraphs, it's just a little devotional. It says he gives you new chances to no matter what you've done, maybe you haven't if maybe you haven't tried hard enough in school. Okay, so this is just basically a devotional moment. And then it says do, use a washable marker, that's clearly an activity, then pray, a prayer, and then read. That's uh, something that the parents and the child can read together. So this is perfect. Let me go ahead and go back. Let me close this and go back to see if there are any other books where we can drive some inspiration from. And this one I had, I had seen before. And let me go ahead and click on read sample to see what's on the inside just to gain some inspiration. Remember, we don't want to copy anyone. We just want to see what, what we can do, how, how we can make it our own. There's a two page introduction and then how to use this devotional. Very important. Anytime you create a children's activity book or a prayer book devotional, you want to go ahead and add a page where it says, how do you use this devotional? Uh, let's see what else your journey as a family of faith. I love this. This devotional is for families with children under age, under the age of 10. Okay. Wonderful. So those are little things that you can add, you know, take notes, go ahead and start taking notes. Okay. So day one, God's design in creation. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. So again, it's the same thing. We have the title of the devotional. We have a Bible verse, then a couple paragraphs of just content. And then it says, let's pray together. Now we can see some similarities between this book and other books. So it's the same thing over and over again. We can do this. Now let's begin. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to head on over here to Canva and you're going to click on create a design here at the top. We're going to go ahead and go to custom size and we're going to choose a, let's say a five by eight. It doesn't have to be a five by eight. It can be any other size, but for the sake of this example, we're going to use a five by eight inches. Now for the background, we're going to type in yellow background and see what comes up. I'm going to scroll down and see what I can find. Okay. I see this. It has a cloud, I believe kind of like this. Let's see. Okay. This works. Let me add, go to elements and I'm going to add a rectangle, just a rectangle. Okay. This one works. All right. And then I'm going to add some cool elements, things that children think. Let's think about Bible. Let me click on graphics here, see all, and we could do something like this. I like this one, maybe at the top or here in the bottom for now. Let's see what else, what else? Okay. This is pretty cute. Okay. Maybe another, let's see. Okay. I like this little light bulb. Very cool. All right, maybe bring these children up top, but they're hidden in the back. So let me switch the position and click on forward, forward again. So now they're, they're there. Okay, perfect. Now we're going to add 
If you want to ask me something, go ahead and click on my stand store and click on the button where it says, ask me anything. And I will be able to send you a video recording within 24 hours answering the questions that you may have. Now back to the video. Some more things like maybe think of school, things that children go through. And that's something like, let's say school. Maybe we can add a book bag. Uh, let's see what else. Mm, let me choose something different. Something that represents school. Okay. Let's see. I can bring this down here. Okay, I can bring it down here. And then here inside this, actually this board, I actually kind of like this. Inside the board, that's where we can write the five-minute devotional. So I'm going to click on the heading. No, I'm going to... I'm going to type in five minute, whoa, five minute, then let me change that, perfect, but let me change the font, there you go, five minute, let me make sure here I can, the color of those letters, I'm going to make them white, perfect. And now I'm going to add a another heading and it's going to be devotional for for kids. Perfect. Let me expand this. Excellent. Now I'm going to change the font. There you go. Let me the spacing on these words is horrible. So let me go ahead and change that. Perfect. Five minute. Okay, this. Okay, that's better. I like that. Okay, great. Now we're going to add more icons. Let's think about children. Maybe family. Family, family. I love a leaf. Okay, okay. You can do this. But guess what? We're going to put it toward the outside. We're going to make sure that this leaf, we're going to change the position and move to the back. Wait, ah, we're going to just click on position and then move it to the back. Perfect. Now we're going to duplicate this leaf and then we're going to add it here to the top, but we're going to switch the position. We're going to click on flip. Excellent. Now we're going to switch the position to the back. There you go. Okay. That looks great. Now we're going to add, okay, great. I like these little hands so we can make this, the hands move it here. I'm going to shift it this way and we're going to move it to the back position, the back. Excellent. We're going to click on it again. We're going to shift it here, but this time, let's see, you're going to put it here. Let's move the position, make sure it goes to the back. Excellent. Now let's add more elements to this. Okay, I have an idea. Comic icons. Let's see. We can do something like this. I love this. How are we going to, where are we going to put this? I'm glad you asked. We're going to go here. We expand it. Expand it a little bit more. And we're going to put this toward the back to see what it looks like. Maybe... Uh, shift it this way. I love that. So we're going to go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and add something else. Maybe a star. But this one I'm going to leave here on top. And then we're going to add maybe something like this. Will work. But I'm going to put the position. I'm going to change it to the back. Excellent. Perfect. And then we're going to add maybe, maybe this one towards the bottom, but I'm going to switch the position to the back. Okay. And then we can add, let's see, and mind you, this can be way better. 
I'm just doing this here in real time. So let's see, position to the back, forward a little bit, maybe this way will look great. Now I'm just going to go ahead and add a page and I'm going to do the first page to our devotional. I'm going to go ahead and click on elements. Okay. And then I'm going to use this one. I'll tell you why. We're going to expand it just a little. And we're, we want to make sure we keep this color scheme so we can make it a yellow. Okay. Make it this yellow. Okay. And then here inside this, we're going to put day one. So we're going to click on text. Quick break. You might hear a child in the background. Yes, it's my baby. I homeschool. So my kids are with me 24 seven. So let's get back into it. Let's go to text here to the left. We're going to click on heading and we're going to write day one. And we're going to keep the font that we've been using, which is Bobby Jones. Let's put that here at the top. Okay. And then we are going to choose what topic Let's choose a topic of, uh, let's say it's always trust God. Okay, let me change the font just because it drives me crazy. All right, so always have trust God. Now I'm going to go to Google Bible verse for kids about trust in God. Beautiful. Boom. Okay, so we see Proverbs 3, 5. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. Boom. We're going to use this one. Proverbs. Okay, great. We're going to copy that. We're going to go here. Click on subheading. Click on, let's say, a different font, crimson. And then we are going to paste. Okay. Now let's do it like this. Let me make this bigger, guys. All right, so we have a Bible verse. And then here, perfect. So now we're going to add the devotional. Let me go ahead and go to subheading again. And Crimson Pro, let's say I'm going to make sure that the content is 11 point. It's just, let me make it a 12. Let me make this a 12. Boom. Let's go. All right. Okay. Boom. Now here we have 12. Excellent. Now we're going to write. We can start with a question. How can you trust in God? And then this is where you write your, your actual devotional. Now, if you do not know how to write something, not a problem. We go to chat GBT. Let's go to chat GBT. Let's find some content. Now, I do have to tell you, do not use ChatGPT word for word. Make it your own. Just use it to get, get some inspiration and turn it into your own text. So write a two sentence devotional for kids about trusting in God. Question, but let's fix that. Let's go. Devotional for kids about turning turning no trusting trusting in god two sentence write a two sentence devotional for kids about trusting in god all right let's see let's okay it says like a sturdy bridge over troubled waters trusting in god is our sure foundation okay guiding you, you guiding us safely through every storm life may bring okay just as a loving parent cares for the child god watches okay let me just copy that we're gonna go back and we're gonna paste it here Okay, remember, I'm going to say it again. Do not use ChatGPT word for word, especially if it's a devotional, guys. We want to make this super unique. We want it to be real. Okay, so it says God is our sure foundation, a uh, guy guiding us safely through every storm life may bring. We can use, we can modify this for sure. Uh, guiding us throughout every situation, making it more child friendly. Just just like, okay, uh, God watches over us with unwavering love and protection so we can rest. How can you trust God, trust in God? You can trust him 
by always going to him, because, you know, it's for kids, going to him and praying at all times, praying in good and in bad times. Something like this will work. Okay, perfect. So we have a cute devotional. And now we have to add a moment of prayer, right? Because that's what we've been seeing, you know, with these uh, devotionals on Amazon. So here in the bottom, what I would do is this little shape that we used before, we're going to duplicate it. We're going to bring it down. But we are going to rotate to 90 degrees. We're going to expand it. Okay, let's make this smaller. Okay, give me one second. Let's bring it here. And then this uh, text, we're going to change the font to Bobby Jones. Okay, guys, that's what we've been using. Bobby Jones, let's bring that text forward. We're going to click position, bring it on forward. And then we're going to write the word prayer. Okay. This is going to be our little prayer, but this color mm, is too, too yellow. Let's bring it down. Maybe make it a little bit more transparent. Or change the color, whatever you'd like. So now we have a little moment of prayer. We can add a prayer. Let me just go ahead and click on this paragraph. I'm going to duplicate it. I'll bring it down. Okay. And we're going to add a little prayer. Dear God. But let's go ahead and shift it. There you go. Dear God, thank you for always. I'm just going to write something simple. Okay, guys. Thank you for always protecting protecting our family and being faithful. Okay, so that's going to be our prayer. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on italics. Okay. And then we're going to leave this here. Let me just write something else because it looks too empty. Thank you for always protecting our family and being faithful. Thank you for your unconditional love. And we could put here in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Okay. Let's go ahead and. Okay, cool. So, guys, here we have it. We have our front cover and we have the first page. And all we have to do is just continue to duplicate this over and over again. And you just change the day. Whoa, what was that? Okay, day. And then always trust God. And then you could do another one that says how to have faith. Okay. And then, and then add another scripture and so on and so forth. And it's this simple guys. And it looks beautiful. Now, if you know me, you know that I love to go the extra mile in any book I create and design and publish. So what would I do different? What would I add? A doodle page. Let me show you. And what can we do? Let's go. Let's click here under elements and go speech, bubble outline, no comic. Let's choose that. Boom. Under graphics. I'm going to choose this one since it has the yellow that we've been using. So I'm going to do this and then maybe just a simple one like this. Uh, let me put it on this side. And then just something like. Just like a regular. Okay, let me see this. No, nah, too bland. Ah, this one looks perfect. All right, cool. So let me use this. All right, and what can we do here? This is what we're going to do. Let me go click on heading. And then we can go here. What did you learn? And they could write it down. Okay, let's make sure minimize what did you learn let's maximize this so they can write something down or they could just draw something here let's do this let's flip it okay make it here and then we could just add a little box comic 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 strip let's see okay great this is what i'm looking for so we can add a box here and what can we do? 
we can add a text okay make sure it's bobby jones okay doodle and we can just add the word doodle we can put it here and guys you have it this is something that you can do just add a page where they can just write their thoughts down or doodle something you can make it i mean this is simple and i'm doing this like literally in real time so this is just an idea I hope this video was helpful. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any idea or if you are exploring a certain topic and you want to create a book based on that, but you don't know where to start, go ahead and send me a comment and I might make the next video about your idea. Share with me in the comments and let's continue creating. I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe.